Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the exact function. So what the exact function does is it lists strings or it compares strings or values within cells and see if there's an exact match. Now the thing about the exact function is it actually is case sensitive. So it is a little bit more sensitive than a, another operator. Another way to do it, I'll show you uh, in this example what that one does. But they pretty much do the same things except one is more case sensitive, which is the exact function, and the other one is not. So basically you may be in a situation where you are getting a list of values from one spreadsheet and you have a list of values from another spreadsheet. You want to put them together. Uh, maybe you've sorted them alphabetically and you want to see if there is a match or mismatch. These two examples will show you that it could be done. Now the exact function is pretty simple. Let me just go ahead and type E equal exact and just go ahead and press the tab key to complete it. And it lets you compare between uh, text one and text two. So I'm going to go select this one and then compare this one press enter and you'll notice that it's true. Let me go ahead and bring the fill handle down, double click the fill handle and it's going to copy the function down. So I double clicked it, copied it down and you notice that it rang true for uh, this for example here because 1, 2, 3 matches 1, 2, 3 but it did not ring true for here. It gave a false because of course uh, capital A is different from lowercase a here in Alice. It also did not show, uh, it also showed false here because there's a space between the A and C here in the word space. Now it rang true here and the reason why it rang true here, the, even though it looks like it's different, is because Excel sees uh, numbers or it sees time and dates as numbers. Uh, what this would represent, this looks like a 12 o'clock uh, noon, it's going to represent half, 0.5, because Excel sees that as half of a day. So um, you, you'll notice that when you look at doing calculations based on dates, Excel will also see dates as a number. So basically, the date 1 1 January 1st, 1900, is seen in the Excel as the number 1. 1 January 2nd, 1900, is seen in Excel as number 2. And numbers are seen uh, as decimals from 0 to 1. So 12 is basically the midpoint of a day, and it's going to be 0.5. So that's why you see that it's true here. Now, this last example, we have Ming here, and it looks like uh, they should match but it returns false. And the reason why it returns false is because there's a space here. So you notice there's a space here. If I press the delete key, I have deleted that space and it's gonna ring true. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. And that's why it shows false. So this is a good way to uh, match values within cells is using the exact function. Now there's another function that performs the same thing. It's an op the operand, the equal operand. And basically all you need to do is type equal uh, cell A2, does it equal cell B2, uh, press enter. Let me go ahead and double click the fill handle, drag it down here uh, to copy the formula down. You notice that it does uh, have some of the similar outputs uh, of the exact function, but here you, you, don't, you notice that it does not because the operator, the equal operator, does not differentiate, it does, it's not case sensitive. So Alice capital A and Alice lowercase a is the same. So that's one thing to note about the difference between these two functions. But the rest of them are the same. So uh, it, it pretty much uh, does the same thing with exception of case sensitivity. So whether you use the exact function or use the equal operator, that is a way to go ahead and compare cells uh, between one and another. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.